So I think I'm buying a shed finally. Uh, the first place I went with, with Yoder's, um, I was just going to get an Amish made shed. They had good prices. It was going to work. I was ready to get it up. And they kept kind of like delaying things and putting them off and not really getting back to me. And finally today, they were like, um, I don't think we can get out that way. I'm going to refer you to some other people. Okay. So then I did. I did call it and contact and I took my business elsewhere and it looks like I'm going to spend several thousand more dollars and perhaps get it something much better. So the original shed was going to be like 12 by 26 and they did not take down the fence themselves. They said I would have to do that, which I would have to hire somebody to take it down and put it back. And they were just apprehensive, didn't really know about how to get a permit and they didn't deal with that. And you know, I wasn't too happy. I was ready to give them the money for them to install it, you know, to just deliver a pre-built shed. But uh, I understand that they were a little further out and it was like an hour further out than they anticipated. Now, there was one guy nearby who um, was all too happy to offer his services to me and they had slightly different sheds. So it was, um, what I got was better, but it was a little over budget. So instead of getting a 12 by 26 I went with a 14 by 28 so that's quite a bit bigger and not only is it bigger but I spent the extra money to get the walls floor and ceiling insulated and it does have some electrical in it. it has a lamp on the ceiling so it's bigger oh and it has shelves so I spent extra money to have shelves put on the sides which are 14 foot long. Maybe it'll be 12 by the time like you, you have building materials. So, you know, two 12 foot walls of shelving, three shelves, and then on the back wall, which is 20, 28 foot long. Say maybe I'll, I'll get uh, 28 minus, so six. Maybe I'll get 22 feet long of a two foot long um, workbench. So they say workbench. It looks like it sticks out 24 inches. And so I'm taking out a couple of feet for the other shelves. So 28 minus 4 is 24. I'll bring it down to 22. Okay, so I say 22 because um, when you have a shell that's 28 by 14, that's not the actual space you get on the interior. There are building materials, so it's a little bit less than that. So having all those shelves installed, the floor insulated, the walls insulated, the ceiling insulated, they're doing spray foam, it's metal siding. Um, only one window on the front to save money, but then two, um, what do you, they're not trellis windows, or two of those tiny little windows on both of the sides, just to let in extra light. So it's going to be big enough to fit all of my merchandise comfortably, and it's going to have probably the same amount of shelving, if not more, than what I had before. And that's just in the pre-made options. I just clicked on the little um, shed builder. And then I talked to the guy and he recommended a few tweaks, like spending a little bit more to get the shed that was like a foot taller and how that was better, and, you know, maybe using a different type of insulation. So I went with all his recommendations and then I added electrical and, you know, all in all, I'm like seven something, 700 and something dollars over budget. But this um, should be all inclusive, including tax, delivery. Um, they have a $400 um, fee for... Um, transporting an oversized um, trailer so because the shed is 14 foot wide they need to take up more than one lane on the freeway and they have an escort so the um, government fines for that are much higher this year they said they used to be 200 and this year under Biden they're 400 so thank you President fake Biden <laughs> fake Biden you're bribing us a fake Fake Biden, fake president. The um, escort fee is now double. So this is the type of thing everyone is seeing this year. The house prices are now double too. I should have paid 30, 35,000 for my house. I had to pay 65,000 for my house. Thanks Biden, fake Biden, fake president. Okay, anyway, so I'm spending more than I was before. Before it was maybe like 12,000. Well, now it's like 15,700, but it does have electric. It's bigger and it's insulated. So, and it has a couple more windows. It has a little window on each side. And they're gonna mess with the fence. That's something I would have had to pay, pay for it. It's not even, uh, wasn't even included in my quote before. So I'm gonna um, 
try to find a picture of the shed I designed. They didn't have the same colors, uh, but they had some colors I thought would look nice and neutral. Just kind of blend in with the yard in the house and not stick out. So I was very happy with that. So I decided to go with like um, white and it was like a light grayish brownish color. So I'm going to post some pictures. Maybe I'll use that. Um, maybe I'll use that as like the image for this video. And hopefully it'll go okay. The guy said he's going to stop by the property. He's going to check out the yard after work. So maybe he's doing that right now and just making sure there's no issues getting into the yard. Seeing if he's going to be able to get the shed in there. You know, he should be able to. So I haven't paid yet. It's so close. It looks like it's all going to work out. So once I hear from him, uh, next time I hear from him, I'll know whether it's a done deal or not. I'm really hoping this goes through. And another thing that's awesome that I would pay a couple hundred dollars for is that he can do a lot of this without me even coming to town. I mean, I live two hours away from my new house and I've got that big van and it uses quite a bit of gas. So it is very worthwhile to me to not have to drive um, down to the new house every time I need to meet with somebody. If I just leave the gate open, he can go in, they can take care of it themselves and I don't have to mess with it. Um, I took a picture from like Google Maps of like a satellite image, like top down and then um, I put it in paint and then I like, you know, use the rectangle tool to put a shed on there so he knows where, it, where I want it to be. Um, he knows the colors I want it to be, you know. So this could be great. It could be done possibly in the week and I don't even have to go down there. How amazing is that? And then I can hire somebody to do the chain link. So this could be done faster. It could be done faster than I thought. So I'll make another video. I'll make another video about what I plan to do next. So if this really does go quickly, I'm going to have to start calling around and looking at good internet service providers in the area. And then I'm going to have to call and, you know, get quotes on chain link fencing. And then it's almost time to move in. Oh, and I forgot to say that a guy came to appraise the house this morning, which means that I should be getting the cash soon. Very soon. So I'll make another video about that. Thanks for listening.